You know what I think is so crazy? You know how the moon pretty much affects the rise and fall of the tides of the oceans of Earth? And science is like, yeah, the effects that Venus and Mercury have on Earth are negligible. I'm like, I don't know about that, bro. As I know, I've been talking a lot about Mercury and Venus in retrograde at the same time which is just some crazy shit. And it has definitely been a crazy shit month. And so, we are three days away from a super duper major coastal low coming to the northeast coast of the United States of America. And models, like Tiff says, are just been like, what, what, where, how, how, why? And so, like, weather Twitter's been like, careful with the info. Cringing, seeing people post euro when east when it should have been going west and that what i'm basically saying is that like everybody's like wait what who no what ha and i'm like yeah this is very venus and mercury retrograde vibes bro so right now the vibe on weather twitter is like oh my god all the models just shifted 100 miles west at the same time and yeah the windshield wiper effect is rex and your decks i was just trying to rhyme and then it sounded stupid and yeah, I don't know. I do love super nerding out about the weather. Weather detective Mike Barletta. No relation to Beretta. Looks like something got into the double double Z. Zero models to all get them to have the same shifts. None of these are 12Z NAM Euro like, but man, they're getting closer than I thought they would. And they're coming in really amplified. And please remember, models were coming in strong already drawn up a 950 or 960 millibar low up north of new york yo and so now here you and i are watching the very latest gfs roll hot off the press and it, it's just a weird system overall it seems so now we're watching to see if the gfs is going to pick up on the 100 mile west shift Man, tracking storms can definitely be very interesting. And I'm not even in this one. And as I mentioned before, the pattern after this storm starts to get pretty batshit crazy. Blake Matthews, next week is looking very interesting for widespread winter weather here in Dallas-Fort Worth and maybe much deeper into the state and then across the USA. Something to watch, but this is not a forecast. Christopher Nunley... A uh, big warming trend takes place in central Texas Sunday, Wednesday. The temperature is climbing above average, but models suggest a big cold front late Wednesday that could significantly drop temperatures, and some models want to throw some wintry weather to Texas. Far out, man. So a lot will change, but stay tuned. Yeah, definitely a lot's going to continue to change and stay weird. Um, Venus doesn't go direct until the 29th, and then Mercury will stay retrograde also until the 4th of February, but then things should get more um, understandable. And right now, the GFS is like, yeah, it's it's bust. Y'all ain't getting much snow. Look at this. It's like a giant storm, and the GFS is like, you guys ain't getting nothing, really. Shout out to Nova Scotia. Yo. But hey, let's take this chance to jump ahead a week, and this would be the sleet, snow, ice, Texas that we've been following. This would be the 3rd of February. Boom. And then look at that. That would be a nasty storm. And then look at this thing. That would be really nasty. Remember, multiple model runs have been showing this thing. Um, so it is not unheard of. I'm not speaky well. You cool though. So one week from now is almost like the giant storm we're seeing that's supposed to be off the coast is that big storm right over the land with heavy floody components and heavy icy components. This thing would have iced. This would be like a thousand miles of ice, bro. Now you've seen how much has changed even in the last 48 hours of predicting the storm we're dealing with this weekend. So a lot is going to change before this one. But this thing would be a nasty monster. I mean, look at this thing. And 990 would make it Category 1 land hurricane strength. And then it would punch up through Nova Scotia, Connecticut, Vermont, into the Canadas. 
And then you'd get another crazy system about a week later. But yeah, the, right now, the GFS is the one model which is like, yep, this thing's going out to shore. You can now accuse everybody who said that you were getting a blizzard of being a fear monger or saying they don't know jack shit about weather. But what I've been saying for a while, Venus retrograde, Mercury retrograde. So expect surprises and this crazy shit we're seeing happening now. Yeah, someone made a tweet earlier about um, if you're in the Northeast, you will may probably get somewhere between two or 20 inches of snow and so it's all just weird right now so let's kick it to lanza from houston but hey best forecast map he can find right now um for the northeast snow the red is likely plowable orange is a toss-up yellow monitor and so <laughs> yeah, okay so pretty much monitor and toss up for most people, except for New York and Boston, Massachusetts, and parts of Virginia, get ready to snowplow. But yeah, like the other OZ models are all coming west. You know, the Icon, the RGM. And then we get the Euro in like another hour and a half. Valkyrie's so cute. I guess, you know, they're all cute. They're Twitch video game streamers. Supermodel nerd out. Oh, hey, and I got my January fundraiser going on. Did you know I do a fundraiser every single month to pay all my bills and keep Thor News up and running as your planetary defense commander? And right now, I only have $669 left to raise for January with about five days left to go. Miracles are always possible, and you are a miracle to me. If you'd like to contribute, you know how to do it. You're pretty smart. Okay, thanks. Jeff Berdelli says, the devil is in the details. And that's why I am such a basic bitch. I was talking about me, not Jeff. But a rapidly deepening coastal bomb will unleash a winter blast in the northeast. So yeah. And then remember, Florida's gonna freeze. So, Ryan Maui's always mad at somebody. <laughs> and this is a funny thing. You should click on it and read it. Um, he blocked me a while back. Anyway. Yeah, so it's going to be one of these. Technology. Mind-blowing. Tonight is the Scorpio moon. So, the vibe is always spooky and dangerous on your Scorpio moon. But tomorrow night, it's the Sagittarius moon. But it's always way more fun. Hey, check out how incredible God is. Painting the sun, sky, every night. Sun, sky. That's an interesting term. Hey, good luck at your AMS talk, Scotty. Oh, jeez. And a beanie to Bitcoin. If you're wondering, Rex, the Tyrannosaurus, Rex, that's redundant, is worth 0.00096147 Bitcoin right now. Well, good for you, Rex, and your cotton candy ass colors, which is fine. Can you imagine if um, they made Beanie Babies out of cotton candy? Um, they would be less collectible, probably, because oxygen really tears up cotton candy over time, as opposed to Beanie Babies. But here, Phil Burt, who's one of the people who got unlucky in life enough to get two first names, telling us the number of Euro Ensemble members with sub-970 millibar lows is very impressive. So it's probably a powerful storm. Um, well, how close to get to the coast? I don't know. But I, I think we'll get snow, but who knows, man? At this point, it's anybody's guess. Man, I'm going to have to watch the last couple episodes of Book of Boba Fett later, probably, I guess. Am I afraid of computers? Compared to dating in the modern age? No, not at all. Hurricane Man. Talk about that Florida freeze. There is an expected high of 58 degrees and a low of 38 on Saturday night in Miami, which I hear is a party city. I'd like to visit it someday and um, have an orange teeny there. Oh, and oranges are in danger in Florida because it's going to get so cold. 38 degrees in Miami are never supposed to go together in the same sentence. Let that sink in. Side note, watch out for falling iguanas. True story. That's real. 
Hey man, check out this badass significant snowfall covered the sandstone spires of China's Zhangjiajie National Forest Park this week, creating a dynamic and beautiful wintry scene for visitors. Wouldn't it be so cool if there was no war and that like we got to travel to more places so that more human beings would get to go to like China and Japan and Africa and across the Middle East so you could see all the different really cool spots that Mother Earth has to offer us. But no, we're still on the brink of like DEFCON 5, World War 3. Although, don't tell anybody, I don't think Putin's going to invade Ukraine. Um, well, we'll see. I could be totally wrong about that as well. Marge is protesting because we could be holding hands, but you're too far. And um, uh, I, I, some female out there is probably like, well, we could be holding hands, but you're too fat. To me, I'm like, but I've been in my foxhole for like two years being planetary defense commander. Anyway, I plan to get in shape somewhere in the spring. But anyway, not safe for work weather. The G Jam, good game, Jam. Good game, M. Looks west also, as does UK Met. And Brady's put up a video. Check it out later if you want to. Or now. Sue is like, it's bone chillingly cold overnight. She's talking about Annapolis and Washington and Quantanico and Fredericksburg and Culpeper and Martinsburg. I like to read names. But Mike's like, yo, CMC's an absolute crusher. Um, so yeah, the GFS is now on an island with itself with the one out to sea option. But at this point, they're like racehorses. You don't know which racehorse is going to win. And me being in Texas, I don't even have a horse in the race. But as your planetary defense commander, trying to do a good job. But, you know, this could cause problems. And if it does get to 950, 960 millibar lows, it could be very dangerous. But I appreciate y'all for bearing with me. And unrelated to anything, I hope Cranky Weather Guy comes back. And Tomer Berg's like, hey, if you're wondering what changed with the CRC, my, my little guidance, data simulations key. The model initialization is created by optimally combining the prior six hour forecast with observations. Anywho, me brain mushy. But I'll probably be up talking about this crap all night. Maybe, asterisk, who can predict the future? All right, sorry, this one was a little too goofy. Yeah, 72 hours away. It's still somewhere between totally out to sea and total crusher. So make of it what you will. Have a great night. Oh, yeah, and if you would like to contribute to my fundraiser, it would be greatly appreciated because you guys are always so great to me. Thanks again to Smoes and Stews, Justin, Bruce, Brady, all the super cool people out there. Only got $669 left to raise for January funders with five days left-ish. So we'll see what happens. My YouTube channel is always a cliffhanger and a box of chocolates because you never know what you're going to get next. All right. Talk to you soon. I hope you have a great weekend. God bless everyone.